of the nations. Okay, I think what the person here is saying that this is no uh, criticism of Islam itself, since Islam is not governments. You're right. But why is there less freedom of religion in so-called Muslim? Well, see, look, I'm glad you said so-called Muslim. Because everything rises and falls in human beings. And yes, it is true. It is pr true that in many of the nations where Muslims are, there, there is less human rights, open speech, open government. But there's a reason for that. If you study history, you'll find out that after Muslim lands were invaded, the invaders set up their own puppet governments. Then they created social conditions that became unbearable to force those Muslims out of their countries, and then they created institutions in their countries to invite those Muslims. And so the Muslims came into the Western countries to benefit from the institutions and to run away from the tyrants that were created by those who invaded their countries. Now, you've got to really follow the history to understand it now. So because there seems to be what you call, or what is called, democracy or hypocrisy, whatever you want to call it, because there appears to be freedom of this and freedom of that, I want you to examine something else. What countries have the highest rate of prostitution in the world? The Muslim countries or the Western countries? What countries have the highest rate of drug addiction, alcohol addiction, and deaths that result from the two? The Muslim countries or the Western countries? What countries have the highest rate of suicide? The Muslim countries or the Western countries? What countries have the highest level of child molestation and pedophilia? The Muslim countries or the Western countries? What countries allow pornography to be blatantly put on television Billboards, subways, magazines, in the public, blatantly. Muslim countries, Western countries. So I ask you, which one of those countries would you consider to be more civilized? You have to answer that question for yourself. I've answered it. I've been to 37 countries. Now, of course, I thank God for the privilege of being an American, a Muslim American, because I have the best of two worlds but Muslim American, not American Muslim. Because by being Muslim, I'm able to avoid most of the minds in the field of America. By being Muslim, I can avoid most of the corruption and the frustration and the disparagement and the immorality and the hypocrisy and the people whose lives are empty. This is by the grace of Almighty God. So I want to say to the person who asked that very nice question that the issue of freedom, don't mistake the issue of oppression by Muslim leaders to be a lack of freedom in terms of the people's spiritual ambition. Still, in the Muslim world, the Adhan is called five times a day, even in the oppressor countries. Still, the people are regulated by the Quran. Still you find that women in the Muslim countries, they're not wearing the veil, and not, they're not covering themselves, and they're not honoring family, and they're not honoring the, the vow of marriage. They're not doing this because they're forced to do so. I'll give you another statistic. Did you know that in the Western countries, between the UK and America, I won't count Australia, just the UK and America, did you know that 516,000 abortions are done every year? 516,000 children's lives are stamped out because people feel they made a mistake. 
and it's been approved by the government. That doesn't happen in a Muslim country. Family, family, the word family is still a treasured word in the Muslim countries. Family has become a very abstract terminology in the West. And even male and female has become abstract in the West. Did you know that in the Western countries, uh, two women can get married and adopt children? And did you know that in the Western countries, two men can get married and, ha and adopt children? That doesn't happen in Islam. Now, we won't go into the whole issue, the morality of whether somebody was born with that disposition and whether they got the individual right, so forth and so on, but animals don't do that.